they've taken down airliners before. But as Delta 191 makes its approach, there are no warning systems that can effectively alert the pilots of the danger they're in. Prior to 1985, the radars on board the aircraft were built to detect thunderstorms, uh, essentially heavy areas of precipitation. They were not effective. They were not even designed to detect the microburst. If you're at the kitchen sink and you turn on the water and it goes straight down and it splashes out in all directions. And that's kind of what a microburst is, except that it is extremely bad news if you're an airplane flying through it. When a plane hits a microburst, it encounters a complex and powerful set of conditions. Downdrafts and tailwinds batter a plane. It's a deadly combination. At its maximum strength, it's, it's no more than two miles across. And it lasts no more than 15 minutes. So if you look at that little space and time window, it's very small. And so the probability of hitting one is low. Just short of the runway, Delta 191 flies into the microburst. You're going to lose it all of a sudden. There it is. seatbelt tight as I could, but, but at the same time, you could hear a pin drop. Nobody was talking. Hang on to the son of He's going to crash. 